Hi and welcome to Good and Great Christian Book Reviews. This week I want to look at a book on preaching and it is a superb book on preaching. I think it is a well needed book um, and it is a book that I think everybody who preaches, uh, be they full time uh, ministers or uh, volunteers, lay people who preach in the church, I think everybody should read uh, this book who preaches and what is it? It is this spirit led preaching spirit led preaching now i wonder what you think that means uh, does that mean preaching without notes preaching without preparation preaching in a kind of uh, mystical unction uh, by which you wait for the spirit to, to move what does spirit led preaching mean well this book is brilliant because uh, really what um, greg hazler says in a uh, spirit led preaching is this and it's all down to the subtitle here's the subtitle the holy spirit's role in sermon preparation and delivery You see, Greg believes in the sovereignty of the Spirit. And that means that the Spirit who inspired the Scriptures can also illuminate the mind in the study. That actually Spirit-led preaching begins way before you preach. It begins in the life of the preacher, in their walk with the Lord, in keeping in step with the Spirit. So that when they're preparing, they are preparing prayerfully. They are preparing in the presence of God with the Spirit working inside them. So as they uh, prepare, they see the original meaning of the text because that is Spirit-inspired. But they also see where the Spirit is moving them in terms of application to the congregation to whom they're going to preach. And so the Spirit really leads us in preparation, looking at the original context and meaning and the contemporary application to the congregation we're preaching to. And then we see how the Spirit is involved in the uh, act of, of preaching. And this is what I love in what he calls a trialogue, a trialogue. And so Greg says that when we preach, there is a trialogue, not a dialogue, not a monologue, but a trialogue. There are three people involved. Firstly, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is involved in speaking to the preacher as he preaches and involved in speaking to the congregation as they listen. You see, there is a dual place of responsibility uh, when a sermon is preached. The preacher must be spirit-led and the congregation must be spirit-led. They must be open to hearing the voice of the Spirit. And so the Spirit is speaking, the preacher is preaching, and the congregation is hearing and responding. And really, there's something beautiful about that moment in preaching, where there is that trialogue, where the preacher is aware that the Spirit is opening up his mind and opening up his heart to what the Spirit is saying, and the congregation is hungry and open to the leading and work of the Holy Spirit. And so in the book, he explains that, he unpacks that. So not only is the Holy Spirit involved in preparation, but he's also involved in delivery. And then at the end of the book, he looks at unction um, and he looks at what he would rather call empowerment. And I I think I would agree with him there. The empowerment that comes uh, in preaching, which is led by the Spirit. So uh, if you want to improve your preaching and if you want to live a Spirit-led life, uh, if you want clarity about the relationship of between the work of the Holy Spirit and preaching, uh, then this book is for you. It truly is a great book, Spirit-Led Preaching by Greg Hazler. Get it.